Do you know this map is a priceless first edition? Please don't touch. Can I help you? Why can't I take your map? I'm a federal agent. Okay, that's actually two questions. First, being a federal agent doesn't mean you can waltz into a newspaper office and take their map. Uh, we have a little thing called the Fourth Amendment. And second, that's a priceless original. If you want a map, check the Quickie Pal. Can I, as a private citizen, please have your map? Nope, it's a priceless original. Nice chatting. Got a murder to solve. Their boxes waiting to be shipped, or picked up, but not by anyone in this game. No, they're fine where they are. Post office boxes for rent. Two for one special. Rent a box, and we promise not to peek inside your mail. Excuse me. Be with you in a second. I'm in the middle of sorting. How can I help? I'm a federal agent. Know anything about the body out by the bridge? You're a federal agent? I work for Uncle Sam, too. As one government agent to another, I'll do what I can to assist. Do you know anything about the body out by the bridge? No, everyone in town is still collecting their mail as usual. No one from my route is missing, and I would definitely notice if they were. I mean, not to brag, but I did consider joining the feds. It's just not as prestigious or as challenging as postal work. Know any good postal jokes? Oh, you bet I do. Why are postal workers such great comedians? They have a special delivery, huh? <laughs> Get it? Ugh, that's terrible. Why is there so much mail to sort when the town seems deserted? That's classified information. As a federal agent, you should know it's my duty to uphold the privacy and the sanctity of the mail. Unless it pertains to an investigation and you have all the necessary paperwork, I can't help you. Who is all this mail addressed to? I can't tell you. It would be a federal crime. I would assume you knew that, being a federal employee and all. Or is this some sort of sting to catch crooked mail clerks? Because I keep things ship shape here in the Thimbleweed branch, so there's no need to worry about us here. Tell me a good postal joke. What did the mailman say to the customer who asked if he could ship a donkey in the mail? They told her they'd haul ass and find out! <laughs> That's so funny, I forgot to laugh. Know any other postal jokes? What do postal workers do on their vacation? They go to the travel agent and book a package deal! <laughs> <laughs> you are the least funny person I've ever met. Don't leave town. I have eyes on you. I'll be right there. Too much sorting to do. What happened to my dime? Hey, if you see a dime, it's mine. Filled to the brim with smelly trash. I used to have a dime, but I... I dropped it. I'm a federal agent, and I have some questions for you. You know anything about the body found by the bridge? A body? 
I thought that was a log wearing a suit. Do you know anything about the body or not? What body? I thought we were talking about a log. Where do you sleep at night? I have a premium bit of cardboard real estate in the nicest part of the sewers. I've had almost no gator attacks, and there's even a grate for ventilation, so my sewer lung is even better than ever. Where do you sleep at night? I have a premium bit of cardboard real estate in the nicest part of the sewers. I've had almost no gator attacks, and there's even a grate for ventilation, so my sewer lung is even better than ever. What's that in your pocket? Looks like a wallet. I don't have a wallet. I'm a bum. You really want to play this game? <laughs> Maybe I'm just happy to see you. It looks like something with blood on it. That's not blood, just river mud. Ah, so you do in fact admit there is something in your pocket. Well, um... Well, I can't give it to you. What would I put my money in? I don't care. See? It's not so easy, is it, Hotshot? I've had enough. I'm a federal agent. Hand over the bloody wallet. Well, I may be a drunk bum, but I know my rights, and you need a warrant. Now look, you find me another wallet to keep all personals in, and this one is yours. It's coming apart anyway, not like those amazing Ransom the Clown wallets they used to sell before his career hit the skids. Now, Ransom was an adulterer, a cheat, and complete... But he licensed good wallets. We'll play it your way. For now. Tell me what you know about a guy named Chuck. Ah, the man was an ass, and I'm glad he died of a heart attack. He ruined my life over nothing. How did Chuck ruin your life? Mr. Edmund made sure I was blacklisted in Thimbleweed Park. My so-called friends turned their backs on me. My watch repair business mysteriously burnt down, and I lost everything. Couldn't get dinner reservations, let alone a job. And in the end, all I had left of my old life was my beloved Stradivarius. Chuck must have had a reason to ruin you. I took his girlfriend out to see that lame insult clown one night. But in my defense... Chuck changed girlfriends more often than he changed shirts. Well, how was I supposed to know she was flavor of the month for the Pilotronics playboy? We'll talk later. Don't leave town. Where would I go? I used to have a dime, but I, I dropped it. It says, Occult Books. Cast your lot before it's too late! I'm not getting any closer to that. No way I'm touching that. Don't touch the books unless you know what you want. Welcome to the Thimbleweed Park Occult Bookstore. I'm Madame Marina. Are you here for the hexes, the summer blowout sale, or... or, uh, based on those suits you're wearing, my tax records? I don't get too many visits from suited and booted federal agents these days. I'm Agent Ray. If you've got nothing to hide, you've got nothing to fear. For now. Well, all right then. How can I help? Do you know anything about the body by the river? I know everything that goes on around here. Okay, so spill it. Okay, so I don't know everything right this minute. <sighs> but if you're willing to get your hands a little dirty, I can find the answers you're looking for. 
What do you need to help us find the killer? I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. I need to go on a vision quest to find the answer. But I can't really reach out into the void without a little bit of... assistance? If you can get me an Agaricus Fungus Visionum Delectamentum Mushroom from the sewers, I might be able to help. I'm pretty sure that's a controlled substance. And your point is... What is this place? It's the county's primary source of occult books, knowledge, and services. You need hexes, curses, cure-alls, or curios? You come to me. Okay. I get the idea. You need voodoo, hoodoo, fortunes, or flimflams? You come to me. Enough. I get it. Jeez. You need cough drops or coffee filters? Hey, you go to the quickie, pal. Can you really hex people? I sure can, no matter what the consumer watchdog service says. Might not always come out exactly as you want, but spirits work in mysterious ways. So if you have any complaints, take it up with them. Did you hex that idiot clown, Ransom? I'm very proud of that curse. He was being a jerk and he needed a little beat down with the karma bat. Remind me never to piss you off. What's your deal? There's not much to tell. I set up my shop in Thimbleweed after finessing my craft on the road for many years. After all, there's only so many nights you can vomit peyote and pull cactus needles out of your ass in the desert before it becomes old news. How did you get into this voodoo crap? Oh, I suppose when I realized I could get baked and make money doing it. That wasn't the answer I was expecting. I don't know what to tell you, dear. I like tripping balls. And with the money I rake in from my curses, I'm gonna retire on a yacht in the Bahamas. I suddenly feel like I picked the wrong profession. Why did you open in this crap hole town? The vibrations. This town has a dark and weird energy which makes it perfect for a cult business. Do you mean an energy, like the signals I've been hearing about? No, no, no. Those signals sparking through the air lately are something else altogether. I don't know what they mean, but I know it isn't good. Goodbye. Have you seen my dime? Detective Angela Ray, senior agent. It's my badge. No way am I gonna look in there. I can smell it from here. Saves trees. <laughs> I look good. That's a huge toilet. Seems out of scale. I'd rather not. I can imagine what it looks like in there. Lots of super-absorbent paper on this roll.
Looks pretty dark down there. I can't see anything there, but it's pretty stinky. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. Look! There's Agent Ray standing in the Quickie Pal parking lot. Looks pretty dark down there. Wait, I see Reyes. Agent Ray, I have sort of a situation here. <sighs> of course you do, rookie. What the hell happened? You better not be screwing up my case, Reyes. I'm not. I swear. I was in the alley behind the diner looking for clues, totally following agent protocol, and I was jumped. They knocked me out cold. Are you okay? No injuries that will require you to stop working the case? I don't think so. Damn. Not bleeding out and about to die or anything? I thought the playable characters couldn't die in adventure games. That depends on who is making them, but unfortunately, I think you'll be all right. Did you get a look at the guy who whacked you? No, they hid me from behind, so I never saw their face. Might not have even been a guy. Good point. A girl could easily take your scrawny ass out. Hey! So we're looking for a suspect of unknown gender, age, race, height, and weight. Great job as always, Agent Reyes. Have you looked around the sewers yet? Yeah, I had a look around. I can't see any exits, but there is a phone down there. Great. Did you call someone? I can't. It's a pay phone and I don't have any dimes on me. Get out of the way, Reyes. I'll drop you a dime. Any luck finding a way out? How's the smell down there? It's not pleasant. Try not to get any crap on your suit. If I have to spend the rest of the evening with you, I prefer you not smell like raw sewage. I think it's a little late for that. How's the rat situation? They haven't gnawed your face off yet, have they? What? Rats can do that? Oh, sure. Rats love eating human flesh. Anda el diablo! You gotta help me! I'll do what I can. In the meantime, sit tight and tuck your pant legs into your socks. That's how they get you. God. <laughs> Try not to panic, Reyes. P panic I'm not panicking! Just because there are flesh-eating rats and raw sewage in here. And gators, germs, toxic fumes, and a risk of the tunnels collapsing? So yeah, I'm totally not panicking. I am as cool as a cucumber. <laughs> I'll be back. I'll be here if you need me.